Okay, I'm going to give you a quick overview of uh, my 1976 Chrysler C22 sailboat. Purchased February 13th, 2010. It is now October of 2015. Purchase price $2,000, no motor. I have done extensive work on this boat and I'm about 95% complete going forward here. There's my uh, mass support that I just built the other day. And the bow pulpit is back in place. A view down through the front hatch in the interior. Getting ready to cover it up as soon as I put on my new uh, lifelines. Got the Suncor do-it-yourself lifeline kit. There's the rear mast support that I built. Removable, of course. And uh, everything that, pretty much everything that needed to be re rebuilt or replaced has been done. There's some few minor details yet to take care of cosmetically and Mostly, uh, and I have to put the traveler back. Um, have the hinged Dwyer DH2150 hinged mass step. And uh, replace the windows. Going back rear. Word. My neighbor's birch tree is starting to fill the boat up with leaves and seeds. New rotor post. Repaired my lazarettes. Those are back in good shape. Thanks to Billy and Pam on the Chrysler Sailboat Forum for their idea about putting these access covers in the back so you can work in there. Uh, there's the leaves. Put the new garlic motor mount capable of handling 175 pounds. My uh, Tohatsu 9.8 is about 100, 108 pounds, something like that. Uh, we'll go below. Some more leaves just came in. Looking forward, everything has been cleaned and refurbished. I removed all that old uh, roll and tuck that was in here and I put in indoor outdoor carpeting. The toilet was no good. I removed that. I'm going to just use a little porta potty and put some straps under those screws to hold it in place. I uh, have all new wiring because what was in here was a rat's nest. I still have to connect get a connector to go up through the Top, which I'll do in the spring. Put my trim rings back on the windows. Patched up the hole that was there from the old uh, through hull that was missing and they had a little putty stuck in there. That's all been glassed in from the outside and epoxied. I remove those shelves that are in here. I don't like them. I'm going to take these brackets off because I keep whacking myself on them. The back of my compass 
wiring for the compass light going over that way my homemade electrical panel eight switches only five in use right now fuse glass fuses on the bottom I've got uh, blue flexible electrical conduit running to the back for the stern light I have, have some blue conduit running down from this this is uh, electrical connection for the uh, depth sounder there's the buzzer I haven't even bothered mounting it it's so light I'm just gonna leave it sit there and uh, new hose for the winch cable new winch cable itself my depth sounder is in here which I will fill with water and glue it down and then empty it out in the uh, winter time I glassed in some one by two cedar to the bottom here to be able to screw my uh, battery box down and I can also add another battery if I so desire and I don't think I'll need more than one right now and I've got um, number four battery cable and a uh, 100 amp fuse I hope this is focusing 100 amp uh, uh, fuse that uh, forgot the term already but it won't ignite uh, any vapors if when it blows that's the main fuse from the batteries battery and I uh, put in this little port where there used to be a uh, knot meter instead of trying to close that hole I just put a little glass port in there adds a little light also open it up for air if you got the hatch closed or whatever got to put the base back for the sink yet I mean the sink for the table here's my uh, still haven't finished hooking up the ground wire and all that but that's where the old knot meter used to be uh, the paddle wheel I filled that with epoxy and sealed it up and uh, there's the backing plate that I put on my uh, keel brackets uh, I got one on the other side and I couldn't get the cap off so I had to saw the cap off and then I had to make a makeshift uh, plug to plug that where the pin goes through but should be okay same thing over here backing plate to help reinforce things and uh, now we'll go back out and take a look at the trailer lifeline kit second lifeline kit Fenders are still off the trailer. I haven't put them back. But painted the boat. Three coats of Rust-Oleum white topside uh, paint. Roll and tip method. Turned out pretty darn good. Uh, two coats of epoxy uh, barrier coat on the bottom. It you know at the water line, and then uh, two coats of. Interlux VC17M uh, bottom paint, anti-falling paint. New bunk boards, new bunk carpeting. Keel has been removed, coated with uh, Rust-Oleum uh, epoxy tar 
uh, coal tar epoxy to keep it from cor any more corrosion. Trailer has been completely painted. Brand new tires, brand new electric brakes, brand new bearings. New trailer jack. And I have to get a winch because this winch was broken. And I got a light kit to put on the trailer to replace all the lighting. There's my new rudder post. And that is the tour of the boat. I hope that I've been helpful to anybody and my videos are helpful and you learn not only from what I did right but from what I did wrong. Uh, this is Bill Astro Rad 2000 on YouTube and Astro Rad on the sailboat Chrysler Sailors Forum. Uh, wishing you all the best for the rest of 2015.